So guys, um, let's uh, look at LinkedIn again. Um, this was the page we were viewing before from Google, correct? Uh, this is Google's corporate page, okay? Uh, if you go down, you'll see a whole bunch of updates from them. Look at one of the updates has 6,000 likes, 172 comments, okay? Um, and if you go down, they constantly have these kinds of likes and comments, right? Okay. Um, if you look at their page here, right, the Google for Work page, again, it has different set of followers and everything. This page has some 4 million followers. The Google for Work has 165,000 followers. So it's not the same set of followers. It's a different set of people, okay? Um, because they're more engaged here to know about Google for work. They don't want to know about Google, the company. They want to know about that product. Okay? All right. Um, on the right-hand side, uh, do you see the photo of me and it talks about Google for work? That's a dynamic ad. Right? They've created an ad that's a dynamic ad with my photo so that I can pay attention to this. Okay? And right now, it doesn't show me any more ads except this one on top. Okay, there's no more ads that it's showing. Now, um, creating ads in uh, LinkedIn is actually pretty simple. You go up here. Now, obviously, you have to have some kind of a business account. So they won't let you just create an ad. You need to have a business account, okay, to create an ad. Once you do, uh, you can go to two places. There's advertising, which are our paid ads that we need to create. But before that, we need to have our company page. Just like we did in Facebook, we need to have a company page here. Okay. Now, if you look here, what it's done is it's brought me to the page I currently have already. Okay. So it's brought me to an Etailing India page because that's a page I already manage. Okay. The other thing you'll notice on the right hand side are these ads. Okay. These are text ads. This is another type of ad that we talked about. This is the most commonly type of ad that will be available for you to create. Even if you cannot create the other ads, this will be one that you can create. Okay. Now, on the page, um, it will let me, obviously, this is my company page. If you look at the bottom, it will let me create showcase pages. Okay? Like we talked about, maybe I want a page that's specific to a conference. If it's, I'm talking about Detailing India or if I'm talking about Advantage, I may want a page specifically for uh, a course that we offer. Okay? So, again, you can come, come to company page and you can probably create this page here. Okay? In my case, it's already created the page. So, it's not going to let me create another page. Okay. Here, um, I can do multiple things. Remember, we talked about sponsored updates. First type of an ad that we talked about was what? Sponsored updates, right? These are ads uh, or paid ads that help us promote this update. Okay. So all the updates that you put will show up here. And you can sponsor any of them. Okay. So let's say that I want to sponsor one update, um, this update, okay? Because right now, right now all it has is 220 impressions, no clicks, one interaction, almost only half a percent engagement, okay? So I say, you know what? This is not working out. I probably want to pay for it and get more people engaged with this sponsor, or sorry, for this update. Uh, is it uh, common to the post post? Yes, it's exactly like Boost Post. Okay. So, I'll just say get started. It's going to ask me for my password again because every time we do anything transactional, they ask you for a password. Okay. And here it's asking me, let's create an account. Okay. Now, in my case, I already have it. Okay. So, what I did was I came inside my account. Okay, and it's going to say create a campaign. So I'm going to say create a sponsored content campaign, 
which is the one we talked about. So here, if you see, they only give us two options. They're not even giving us a third option. Even though there are many other types of ads, they will only give you two options. One, sponsored updates. Second, text ads. That's it. OK? So I'll say, OK, what is the campaign name? I'll say that, again, same thing that we created there. Language, obviously, let's leave it to English. OK, now, obviously, we don't have conversion tracking set here either. So just like a pixel that was in Facebook, I can actually go get a pixel here as well and put it on my website. OK, so again, if I say get started, they'll go ahead and take me to getting go, uh, sorry, to go get the pixel, get the code for it, and go ahead and put it on my website. So here it says, OK, which website do you want to track? Right? So I say etailingindiaexpo.com because that's what we're using. OK, so here, very quickly, they give you a small piece of JavaScript code, just like Facebook had shown. You put it on your website, and it will start to sh track all LinkedIn campaigns you keep on doing. OK, so if we want, we can just copy it, put it there, or else send it to us on an email. Okay, I'll go back to where we were. Okay, Now here, because I said I want to do sponsored content, it's actually showing me all the content that we've generated. Okay, So I can decide that, hey, I want to sponsor this content. Now, all I have to do is say that, say sponsor selected. And now, next thing, it's just like Facebook. It's asking me what my target is. OK? So either if I had a previously saved target, I would let me choose that. But we don't. So we can just choose new one. right? We can, again, do the same thing as we had done with uh, Facebook. Uh, we can choose our locations that we want to target. OK? Then we can look at some other things such as company name, company industry, company size, job title, job function, seniority, schools, fields of study, degrees, a whole bunch of other stuff that Facebook is not able to target. Okay, So let's say that I want to target everybody that works at IBM. Okay, so, so if you see that, if I choose IBM, it will only target all the people that work at IBM. Okay, I can say that, listen, besides IBM, I also want Oracle and Dell. I want to target these guys. Okay, I can say that I only want to target everybody that is a senior manager or senior project manager. Let's say I want a technical person. I want to target everybody that's a senior project manager at IBM, Oracle, or Dell. Okay, now. I can also say a certain age, their years of experience. Let's say I say they at least have to be six years experienced. Right? So it says six plus years of experience. Okay. And what I can do is I can say, if you look at the right hand side, it's saying your audience is too narrow. The reason it's saying your audience is too narrow is because I chose three companies, right? There are not many people within those three companies in Pune and Nagpur. So either I take out Pune and Nagpur, OK? And I just say, I want everybody in India. Forget Pune and Nagpur. Now still, it's saying there's too little. The audience is too narrow. It's probably because I asked for okay, uh, the senior project manager. Maybe that doesn't make sense. Maybe I should have project manager, prog program manager, project director. Now it says there's enough people. Because in that one particular job title, there may have not been many people. Maybe at IBM, there is no such thing as a senior project manager. OK? So here I chose three, four more nights. That tells me on the right hand side, there's about 300, 3,000 people, sorry, that it can target. OK? Uh, that have four plus years of experience. OK? Now on the bottom, it gives me two different options as well. It says that I can go beyond the people I've chosen. So there's something called audience expansion. OK? So it says, help my campaign reach new audiences similar to my targeting criteria. So what LinkedIn would, would do 
is would actually find other people that were similar so that your audience can be expanded. And lastly, it says, deliver my campaign to my target audience beyond the LinkedIn feed. So what's happening is, uh, any of you have this thing called Pulse? OK, so LinkedIn has, a, has an app called Pulse. OK? Um, so LinkedIn is also going beyond LinkedIn. There are other opportunities for you to deliver your ads. So here, they're asking you, do you want this ad to go beyond just the LinkedIn feed? OK? Now, we say, you know what? No, we don't. Let's take this out. Um, and we say, OK, you know what? Let's see what else we can do. Next thing, obviously, is how much are you willing to pay? OK, what's your cost per click? What's your cost per impression? OK, so you can bid. Now, LinkedIn always tells you on the right-hand side what they expect you to bid. They tell you for these kinds of things what other competitors are bidding. Okay? So they're saying that minimum bid should be $2, by the way, per click. And most other advertisers are bidding between $2.73 and $5.13 and for every click. So now we need to figure out if ROI-wise this even makes sense. Can I afford to pay 125 rupees or 130 rupees approximately for every click I will get? So unless you're marketing a huge product with a large price point, this may not work. And by the way, LinkedIn is more expensive than most other social media platforms. And the reason is because they believe they have the best targeting when it comes to that professional network. Okay? So their costs are way high. Okay? But let's assume that $2.73 is OK with us. Then it asks you for a daily budget. How much do you want to maximum spend per day? Let's say we leave it at $25. And when do you want to start this? Okay? We'll say schedule start. Uh, start this on the 30th. Okay? When do you want to end this? I'll say, you know what, end this on the 9th of July. And over the whole period, what is my total budget? $25 is a day. What is my total budget? Let's say, so I tell them $250 is my total budget. And that's about it. You basically say launch campaign, and they launch it. OK, here it goes. So here it's showing us that they've launched this campaign, OK? Uh, with an audience of 3,000 plus LinkedIn members, okay? We bid $2.73 with a daily budget of $25 and a total budget of $250, okay? And it will start on the 30th and end on the 9th. Correct? Easy enough? Okay? But again, uh, this is one of the most expensive advertising you will do. Um, Lastly, I want to quickly just show you the difference between a text ad campaign, the ad campaign that goes on the right-hand side. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Number one was that um, your uh, the minimum bid they were saying was two seventy-three. Yeah. Now, what if I want to bid just one dollar or one point seven five? So minimum still take bid they are written as two dollars. Oh, so. so you can't go below it. We can. No, the only thing is we, we can't go below that. No. All right. That's Don't the minimum bid. And how do they decide, like, who is the first person to say it's $2? Like, it's a range between the advertisers who are... Currently doing it, Currently yes. doing it. So who was the first person who did $2? Like, Don't know. How would but they... that's the algorithm that figures out what minimum they require you to pay. Okay, so it's their discretion at the yeah. end of the day. Uh, coming to the second point, uh, yeah, $25 is, like, what we chose on a daily basis. Yeah. Is it then, again, necessary to decide? Because I've already given them uh, my daily budget, and I've given them that I'm going for, like, say, five days, for example. So is it then necessary to give me uh, give them the final budget like the total no, cost? No, it, it, it is like not. An option. But the reason they ask you is just in case. Right. What happens? Do you have a let's say you want to run it for ten days? Right. But you're not able to exhaust twenty five dollars a day. Then what? Okay. So they're asking you total budget as well, because this way you tell them listen even over ten days, regardless of exhaust per day or not, I don't want to spend over. Let's say thousand uh, dollars. Oh, sorry, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. I don't want to spend over it. 
regardless if it takes one day, two days, I'm not one day. Regardless if it takes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days, I don't care. So on a given day, it may cross twenty-five also. If slightly, they won't. They won't. They don't go much over. Okay, they won't go too much over. Right. They may go slightly over. They all say that the certain percentage they can go over. Um, creating a text ad campaign. Okay. This is the second option that they give you. And like I said, the other options are only available to certain advertisers, not to all. Okay. Um, and quickly, we will discuss the differences. Same thing. We give the name of the campaign here. Uh, so this way, we'll give it new to. Okay, language. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Here, if you see the difference, it's not asking you to choose a sponsored content. What it's asking you is, okay, now let's create the ad, just like we did in AdWords, like we did in Facebook. Let's go ahead and create the ad. First thing it's asking you, where do you want the ad to go? Okay. Do you want it to go on a certain page on LinkedIn? Okay. Or do you want it to go to your website? Let's say we say we want it to go to our website. Correct? Now, what is the headline? All right, we need something catchy. All right? So depending on what we're selling, let's say we're into B2B business and we have um, so we create ads for uh, like for builders and for like peer construction. Sure. So let's say for construction, uh, 30% off on our first 10 flats free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they don't tell you who got the first 10 flats. Huh? So first 10 flats free uh, in Mallard West. So now it says I'm taking too much space. Uh, so I can't say first 10 flats. I have to say 10 flats free, Millard West. Okay. Is there a character Yeah, there is. So if you take this off, it's 25. 25 yeah, and 75 for the description. Okay. So free first 10 flats if you register today. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're giving away flats. It's not ours, right? So we can give it, let's say by Loda. I can give, I can give away flats. I mean, it, it, may, it may not be legal for me to write this, but I can still give it away. Set okay. till 7 p.m. <laughs> Add approve, okay, say pehle khatam. Offer. All right, so it's asking for an image, okay? So I'm just gonna use any image that I have uh, there. Okay, there it goes. So it got the image. Okay, and on the right hand side, you can see the ad now. 10 flats free, Millard West, first flat, da, 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 something. This is how it look, all different ways. On top, it look like this. Horizontally, it look like this. Okay. And next is obviously, save it. Okay, now I can create multiple versions of the ad. So if I say, Ki, I don't want just one version, I want another version. What they're saying is you can create up to 100 ad versions. So they'll just keep on rotating things, okay, and seeing what works, okay? We assume that this is good enough for us and go to next. It's gonna go again to the same thing, choose our audience, okay? Uh, in this case, we say we only want people in, uh, I don't think they'll find people in Mallard. No, so we'll have to go Mumbai area, okay? And I think everybody would be interested in this, so we'll leave it alone, okay? But we want people over 18, we don't, uh, so let's say only these groups we want. There are 900,000 people that I can target. How much do I want to bid? Free, up and there. So let's say this says the bid has to be between 267 and 395 with a minimum bid of two dollars. So I can say two because I don't want to pay more than that. I said daily I'm going to spend fifty dollars, and I am going to start this on the 29th, and I will end this on the 29th of July. I'm going to do it for one month. Okay, great, and we're good to launch. 
Here you go. So this is also good to go. So now we've created two ads, right? Right, guys? Okay, let's go back and see our two ads. Make sure that, uh-oh. Uh I hope it didn't spend the money yet. <laughs> All right, so before it spends money, I'm gonna deactivate both the ads, okay? So it's showing us, this is our dashboard for the campaigns, okay? It's showing us the two new ads here, okay, on the bottom. Now there's one here it's already showing, okay? This is something that I wanted to show you as an example. So there's an ad we ran on basis of impressions, okay? So CPM, I ran this on CPM because it's just was way too expensive for me to be running CPC. So I ran a CPM campaign, okay? And what we got was 21,000 impressions 103 clicks, average click-through ratio of half a percent, okay? 36 people did some social action on it, either they liked it, they shared it, or something. So that means we got total engagement of 139 people, okay? And average CPC it cost me was $1.61. Every click costed us $1.61, okay? with an average cost per thousand costing me $7.85, okay? Total spent was $165.52. Again, this is expensive. This was also a trial for us. We said, how does it look? Uh, if you click on conversions, you see zero because we didn't have the conversion pixel on. Plus, I was running a CPM, okay? Which meant only show it, okay? Um, Social actions, here, what did they do? They did some clicks on it. When they did a click, it shows me. Okay, if they had done a like, comment, share, or follow, we would have seen numbers here. And it shows me how the budget was spread out. I had daily budget of 30, the total budget of 200, and a bid of $12. Question, sir. You have yeah. The result at $1.65. The so bid is on CPM. Okay, so it could come down yes. from what you're bidding. Yes. It's not necessarily it will go up from no. there. Okay, and uh, uh, also, sir, the uh, coming back to the uh, sponsored sponsored ads. So on sponsored ads, uh, when you're uh, boosting, uh, uh, a boost post out there, uh, it can select from the page as well as the main, uh, like the show the show showcase page as well as from the main uh, business page also. Yeah. So how would it different? It will sh when it's sh it showing me the uh, sponsored ads, it's showing me all all of the posts. Show you all of yours, yes. Or okay. you can also change it. So it gives me ability, even though okay. I forget uh, showcase or corporate pages, I have the ability to see across multiple companies also. So I can actually see posts across all the companies and choose which one I want to boost. Okay, so it gives you the option. Yeah. <coughs> so it gives me a scam also, like the me know. And what is the ad and what is the bid you have, you know, put in. So they can tell the employees to just click, 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 click. Can be a scam yes. also. It can, and it's the same thing as Google AdWords. Uh, these guys have systems built in. If somebody's clicking too many times from one location, they won't count it. They won't subtract your money. But they have people are all over the world. Yes, true. Again, they're trends that they watch for. Uh, they look out for these trends. They see if people are doing this on purpose, then they'll block them. But ultimately, you can't do much. Uh, it's good when you're small because there's no competition to do that to you too. Uh, when you become large, it becomes a big problem. And that's why most large corporates also have big budgets. They know X percentage will go into this, into the fraud clicks or whatever. All right, guys, so uh, now we all know how to create a LinkedIn ad. Yes? yes. yes? Are we sure? Yes. Yes? We can move on? Yes. All right, great.